Okay, we're going to get started on assembling the, um, the Z axis and the, the Y axis uh, bearings. You'll notice a few differences. Um, this piece right here is the, uh, is the place where the motor is going to be mounted and the sprocket will be mounted. The sprocket will be actually on the other side and the motor with the sprocket will be on this side. The reason why it looks like a U here is so um, the motor and the sprocket can be easily um, put into that slot. And you'll notice that everything else is pretty much the same. Um, you have these brackets. Uh, it's better to put the brackets on prior to actually putting this on the, um, on the rails. And now we'll get started on putting everything together. Okay, now we're going to be putting on the a collar and a, um, a drive sprocket. You'll notice that there are two set screws for the drive sprocket. There are also two set screws for the collar. This is the type of collar that will squeeze down around a, um, a shaft, like on the motor. Um, it's not good to use a set screw that goes straight through because these, the shaft is, a, um, it is hardened. Um, and those don't work well with hardened shafts, but these do. And also you'll notice that um, these screws actually stick out a little bit. Even when they're tightened, they stick out, but it perfectly fits through this little keyway here. So you'll have no problems putting it in. Okay, so now let's see what kind of spacing we need with the chain. You want to try to, uh, you don't want to actually put the, um, the sprocket on or you don't want to um, tighten it down until you know exactly where it needs to be. So that looks like it's pretty good. The collar is going to be long enough so you'll still be able to get the set screw on. So let's go ahead and tighten that down. When you're ready to install the motor, make sure that you have some of these um, screws ready. So when you install it, you're going to slide this over. And also notice with this area, you'll be able to um, unscrew or, screw or tighten in the uh, Allen uh, screws.
If you hear a cracking sound like you do here, that means that the, um, the drive or the, the idle or sprocket is out of alignment. So all you have to do is undo these um, set screws, loosen them, allow it to um, position itself, and then tighten them again. Okay, now we're getting ready to install the side plate, the, um, the gantry side. Everything is pretty much the same. The bearings go on the same way as you see here. And the connections here are the, exactly the same as the 2x4. As the two by, two by You'll notice that the, uh, the shape is different. The motor goes in this location. And you can also see that there's a, a way to get the motor and the um, drive sprocket into this area with no problem. This hole is for the uh, idler sprocket and um, you'll also notice on the other side that that's actually different. The sprocket actually goes on in front of the motor and the motor goes behind the, the idler sprocket. On this side the motor goes in front of the, the sprocket the sprocket goes behind the motor and that is because the motors are rotating in one direction so the, um, the sprocket here has to allow the chain to go on above the idler sprocket and below the um, drive sprocket and in this case the um, the chain goes above the drive sprocket and then underneath the idler sprocket so to get this all on, um, remember that this, this sprocket is going to go underneath the uh, chain, the drive sprocket, and it's very important that you put the, you mount the, um, the motor first before you get the, the idler sprocket on. Have it pretty, pretty loose when you're putting it on so you can tighten it later. And then it's very important that you put the motor on first and get that fastened down because you won't be able to get to the screws when you, once you put the sprocket on. You won't be able to get to the nut part of it, at least one of them, this back one here. Now, for the sprocket, you've got, you're going to have a half inch uh, bolt or screw. And then remember that this, the sprocket goes above the chain. And fasten down the the drive sprocket onto the the collar. <laughs> 